Welcome to MechMission. Today I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of the gel test material handling software, specifically having a look at, you know, forklifts and the heister models such as the H90 and the AS155. Let's jump right in here and have a look. The material handling software covers everything from lift trucks to telehandlers to scissors to booms. I mean, there's all kinds of coverage. You can see all the different models here or brands down the left hand side. Got some of my favorites here out front. Let's jump right into the heister. So here we're looking for the H series, but you can see we actually have quite a, a list here of heisters. If you have a look through the list, it's quite extensive. So here we're looking for the H190. Right here, FT. So you can see we've got coverage here uh, of the central computer, the electronic module, and the engine. Pretty decent coverage of the forklift. Let's go and jump in here and take a look at uh, some of the special functions we have. You can see that right on the front end at gel test. It's going to show you here you can do things like code injectors, run regens, uh, reset the regen counter, hydraulic system actuator calibration, calibrate forward speed, transmission solenoid calibration, weighing sensor calibration. So lots of functions here on the H170 to H190 FT. Certainly every model is going to have different coverage and every brand is going to have different coverage. The material handling license gives you coverage for all of those uh, material handling brands I showed you at the start. And three times a year there's major updates from gel test to keep growing the software. So let's go and jump right in here to one of the systems. Let's take a look at um, the central computer. So here we can see we can read the fault codes, clear them, system data, monitoring, parameters, calibrations. Let's first just jump right in here and have a look at the fault codes. This is obviously just demonstration data. But let's see what we've got in here. So we've got a presence detection sensor that's firing. And we can see here that we've got some information about the fault too. Jaw test integrates the technical information as well as troubleshooting steps when available right into that diagnostic process. So up front here we can see the freeze frame, have a look at when it happened, current status. But most important, giving you the technical information inside the platform. You don't have to go anywhere else. Let's take a look here at information on this presence detection sensor. So here we've got the pinouts. We can also jump straight to the measurements. We can also go in and see this component straight on the wiring diagram. So see where it's pinned out, understand you know, where it's connected to the ECM. So we can at least try to test some of the uh, scenarios to why it might not be working. Gel test does continue to add to the technical support and information. Uh, as they keep going to grow the system, those three times a year updates are just, they're phenomenal. Uh, so here you can see inside the wiring diagram, we've got the presence detection sensor. But you can also see we can easily just jump to other sensors and information inside of the, the machine. We've also got the ability to search, you know, everything from the washer pump to you name it. So there's your mass raising solenoid. You know, if I wanted to come in here and actually see it. You know, a lot of times the technical information is also going to have drawings, going to show you exactly where it is located on the machine. Um, you know, the pinouts, get to the measurements, understand what's, what's going on. Okay, let's come back to the diagnostic screen. So we can clear code, system data, live monitoring. So depending on what you're connected to, in this case it's the, the body computer, going to have more or less sort of functions or how connected that uh, component is. In this case we got 73 sensors. We can go and, and select them in groups even if I want to see temperatures or things that are speed related and I want to get all of these and I want to map them just quickly. Maybe I'm you know trying to demonstrate or see if what's functioning or current uh, values. You can also take them and show it in, in dials, understand you know see it visually and lastly you can also set triggers and you can even record the data. So if you're doing a field test or a, a, a trial and you want to see what's happening for 90 minutes, you can record up to 24 of these uh, measurements and play it back. So see when fall codes are firing and understand exactly 
you know, what was happening with the measurements in the machine at that point. Uh, setting parameters. So here you can see we can come in uh, hydraulic system, transmission, uh, machine configuration. You know, there is an expert mode that keeps uh, these sort of functions, advanced functions, controlled. So if you have lots of mechanics and perhaps you only want your lead hand doing uh, advanced functions like running regens or modifying the transmission, it's going to allow you to put it under code. Or you can leave it open for everyone. So here you can see any of these functions, it's going to give you information on what you're going to do, which it just did. You know, we're going to go and modify the transmission parameters. Then it's going to give you initial conditions. So we're connecting now to the transmission and able to adjust your vehicle acceleration, deceleration, brake level, brake application pressure. You know, if I want deceleration to be a four, I just come in and hit okay. Maximum speed limit as well there. So you can go and modify parameters here on, on this forklift. Okay, let's come back out. Any of the um, work you're doing inside of a system, it's always documenting it. It's keeping it in a PDF, but you also can store your fleet inside the garage resource planner. Or you can even turn this into a work order. So if you want to externally have you know comments or record an audio recording or add a price and information, you can do that. And you'll see here just a quick look. You know it's keeping this information and you know captures everything, every fault code you saw. Every, uh, you know, there's all the freeze frames, the information, the live data we were looking at, uh, and then some of the parameters we changed. So it kept everything for you uh, without having to do anything. Let's have a look at the H90 FT. So here on the H90, we can see we've got access to the central computer, electronic module, the engine. Uh, in this case, there's options of uh, the Cummins, or there could even be different uh, uh, options here for engines in this. We've got the body computer, electronic module. Uh, let's go and actually go plug into the engine. So when you go to connect, it's going to show you which cable you've got to use. In this case, you know, it might even show you where it's located, what it looks like, because a lot of times they also get hidden. So here you can see it's hidden on the side of the joystick. You know, there's the cable we need. That's, uh, that's actually a Cummins cable, the A9, uh, or we've got the 523. So it could be a variety of connections. So let's go and connect. So here, let's, uh, let's pick one with a particulate filter. So now we're into the engine here on this H90 FT. We can come in, read fault codes, which we've already seen, clear them, system data monitoring we've already seen. Here we've got some uh, components we can actuate, the EGR valve, we wanna test their functionality, uh, system checks, cylinder cutout test, uh, parameters, injector coding, uh, display the parameters, uh, maintenance. So here, let's, let's take a look at um, if we had to force a regen or do a regen counter restart. Again, asking for the expert code. So here you can see it's it's taking us through what's gonna happen. It's gonna get up to 800 degrees. Um, you know, in case there is a particular re, uh, regen inhibition switch, make sure it's not activated. You know, making sure you've got everything ready to go to run the regen. So it's telling you, you've gotta be at idle, right? So it's measuring that, telling us we're good here at this point. And we can go in and actually execute the regen. So you can see even while it's running the regen, only quickly showed it because it's a demo mode. It was automatically jumping through, not taking 40 minutes. Actually had a nice system display for us. I'll come back and show you that. But at the end of the regen, you can see here the results that we had, although you would be monitoring along the way with that system display, uh, you can keep all that data and store it in, in the work order at the end. Let's come into monitoring just so I can show you the system display that we had on that engine. All right, so we've got a couple system displays for that. Got the fuel system, nice layout, giving you all the details. 
uh, as well as on uh, the after treatment here. So, you know, how much particulates being being gathered uh, and also being able to see what's happening during the regen process. All right, so here's some of the system components in terms of uh, information. We're still in the engine right now, but uh, you know, if I wanted to see any of the information, this is all here for you too. If you had, if you needed it in terms of a fault code going off or whatever it might be, it would put this information right straight into the process for you. Okay, so with that, uh, we're going to end today's demo. If you have any questions on the gel test material handling diagnostic software, you should come visit us at Mechnician. We'll be glad to help you, take you through a demo, send you your own custom video. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, there's nobody else that has a broader and more complete multi-brand diagnostic solution for material handling. We're really excited about where Gel Test is taking this. Thank you for your time today.